All right, homies, time to rank all of Wendy's staple fast food items before we hit it up. Y'all ready? I'm down. Time to see you all's trash takes on this god tier of a restaurant. Donald, Wendy's has always been mid-tier for as long as I can remember. I'll admit that they are definitely solid, but there are far better places out there. All right, I guess that's fair anyways. Where the hell is Joe? Better not be taking one of his daily naps. Oh, hey, sorry guys, must have fallen asleep again anyways. What were we doing? Joe, you dementia-ridden fuck, you literally invited us to this call to make the Wendy's tier list before we hit it up and you can't even do that? All right, Donald, that is entirely unnecessary. Anyways, Joe, you better stay awake for this tier list or me and Donald are leaving your ass behind when we go. All right, I'll make sure I take my daily dementia pills. Anyways, I see we're starting with cookies, not gonna lie. I literally didn't even know these existed. But if they aren't stale, cookies are a solid B tier in my book. To be honest, and I can't believe I'm saying this, I actually am gonna to have to agree with Joe on this one, as I literally don't even remember these being on the menu. But cookies are cookies. And if they aren't stale, they are at least B tier. Agreed, solid B tier. Moving on, we got an ice cream sundae. Honestly, ice cream sundaes are always pretty good. And since Wendy's Frosties are already fire enough, I can't see why this isn't an A tier. Funny enough, I actually remember having this a few years back. It's literally if a Frosty with a chocolate chip cookie had a baby, and it's absolutely amazing, definitely S tier. I'm gonna have to agree with Donald on this one. You need to try this sometime, Barack. I swear you will realize it is such an easy S tier, it's not even funny. Never thought I'd hear the day when Joe would say complete facts. Alrighty then, democracy rules. So this is going into S tier. Moving on, we got the iconic Wendy's Frosties. And before you say anything, Donald, we are putting the chocolate Frosty into S tier immediately, no objections. Thank you, Barack. Agreed. Okay, that was easy, all right, moving on to the vanilla Frosty. Definitely not as iconic as the chocolate, but I think it deserves an A tier. Honestly, while I'm inclined to agree, Barack, the reality is that the vanilla is literally just a sorry excuse for soft serve, and quite frankly is for babies, so that shit deserves a B tier at most. Gonna have to agree with Donald on this one, Barack, that shit is literally just like any other soft serve B tier at best. Fair enough, B tier it is. Okay, moving on, we got Wendy's Lemonade, which is literally just Minute Maid Lemonade, which is B tier at best with all that friggin' sugar. Don't know what's wrong with you, Barack. I don't really see how you can put that shit on anything less than A tier. Holy shit. Joe has your dementia made you forget the amount of friggin' sugar that's in that shit. It literally says on the back that it only has 1% juice and is proud of it. All right, I'm gonna forget that Joe even said that and put that shit in B tier. Okay, next up is the breakfast burrito. Honestly, easy, A tier, that shit slaps. Holy shit, Barack, that might be one of your worst takes yet. While I've gotten the breakfast burrito a few times, two out of the three times that I got it, it was literally a soggy, inedible piece of shit that I almost threw up while eating. Honestly, this shit deserves D tier. While I mostly agree with Donald on this one, judging it by purely taste alone, I think it deserves at least C tier. Well, since we literally just started and have a lot more to go, I'll put this in C tier for the sake of time. Next up, we got the oatmeal bar. And before any of you guys say anything, this shit is going straight to C tier because last time I got it, I had to order milk just to finish it. Couldn't agree more, Barack. That shit literally belongs in the bottom of C tier, maybe even D tier. Because unlike Joe, I actually remember stopping at Wendy's a few weeks back and ordering this in a rush, and it was an absolute disgrace. Truly nasty, I tell you. All right, Donald, will you just shut the hell up? Though honestly, I agree with both of you on this. Bottom of C tier, at least. All right, C tier it is. Moving on, we got the seasoned potatoes. Honestly, just trash compared to Wendy's regular fries, so that shit is going into C tier. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, moving on to Wendy's coffee. Honestly, the best way I can describe it is if you want mid-tier coffee with the best price per cup out of any fast food chain, then this is your go-to solid B tier. Honestly, it's extremely hard to argue with straight facts as Dunkin' Donuts blows this shit away, so I'm cool with C tier. To be honest, I am really not surprised that Trump likes Dunkin' Donuts coffee. It probably explains how he gains the extra pounds with the donuts on the side. Says the guy who literally, if he wasn't president, would be in that Starbucks drive through every single day. Honestly, that shit is so overrated, so I don't want to hear a peep out of you, Joe. Honestly, that's probably the worst take that Donald has ever said so far. But I'm putting Wendy's coffees in B tier and moving on. Up next, we got the bacon, egg, and cheese. Honestly, if you're as sleepy as Joe is on a daily basis, 
I could see you putting this in A tier, though like many things on the Wendy's menu, this shit is mid as fuck solid B tier. To be honest, I would rank this higher, but Barack nailed this one. Honestly, I'd choose Dunkin' Donuts over this shit any day of the week. While I would probably order something from Starbucks before I went to Dunkin', I'd say definitely a B tier is where it's at for this one. Okay, B tier it is. Now moving on to the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Now honestly, if I'm being real here, the only thing going for this sandwich is the awesome buttery croissant. Besides that, this is also just a B tier. This is facts. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, B tier it is. To be honest, it's great to see that we are so like-minded on a lot of these so far. All right, moving on to breakfast Baconator. To be honest, just like the original Baconator, this shit is straight S tier, no question about it. Honestly, the Baconator is the best thing that Wendy's has ever done. And the breakfast Baconator is literally the perfect breakfast sandwich, hands down. Probably the easiest S tier of my life. You all are such fanboys, it's not even funny. Though I can't argue with that. All righty, S tiers for the Baconators. Moving on, we got the regular sausage, egg, and cheese. And if I'm being honest here, the next four items on this list are all practically C tiers. Agreed, to be honest, Wendy's biscuits are so dry that they may very well rival Popeyes. Not gonna lie, Donald, I don't know if you wanna poke the bear with this one. Though Popeyes biscuits are hella dry though, and that's facts. To be honest, since you guys didn't mention the chicken, that's all I care about. And I do agree that the biscuits are really dry. Anyways, let's move on to the only biscuit sandwich that I think has the potential to move out of C tier, and that's the bacon, egg, and cheese. Somehow this sandwich actually makes the dry biscuits enjoyable, and if you guys are cool with it, I'm willing to put it on the bottom of B tier. Honestly, while I don't entirely disagree with you here, Barack, I still think it's too dry for my liking, so I think it deserves the top of C tier, but definitely not worthy enough for B tier. Honestly, these biscuit sandwiches are almost as dry as Trump in bed, but I'm cool with the bottom of B tier Barack. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. At least I don't have a son that does crack and makes a living selling modern art that looks like a month old baby drew it. All right, settle down you two. For the sake of time, I'm putting it in the bottom of B tier and moving on. Up next, we got what comes in a very close second to the breakfast Baconator, and that's the maple bacon chicken croissant. Honestly, definitely deserves bottom of S tier, at least as this shit just straight slaps. Now, while I won't argue that this sandwich isn't anything but absolutely fantastic, I don't think it's worthy enough to be in the same category as the chocolate frosty and the Baconator, but I'm willing to put it at the top of A tier. Honestly, I don't know what Donald is talking about. To be honest, I think his Baconator fanboying is getting the best of him. Definitely deserves bottom of S tier for sure, Barack. All right, bottom of S tier it is. Okay, now for the sake of time, since we already talked about the sausage, egg, and cheese, and seeing as this sandwich is practically just the same thing with bacon, I'm putting this in B tier. Now moving on to Wendy's baked potatoes, to be honest, I heard they were discontinuing these and it made me sad. Honestly, you can never go wrong with a baked potato every now and again. Solid B tier for me. Completely agree, Barack. Nothing wrong with a hot potato every now and again. To be honest, we should probably put one on Joe's chair when he's sleeping, so that next time he sits down, he'll be hella awake for the next hour or so. Honestly, I'm so down for that, Donald. We're going to get him so good one of these days, I swear. What the hell are you two knuckleheads on about? Don't worry about it, Sleepy Joe, anyways. I'm cool with B tier for the potatoes, Barack. All right, bet, B tier it is. Okay, next up, we got Wendy's chili. And honestly, I'll be real, this shit actually slaps solid A tier. Are you for real, Barack? The only chili I'll ever eat is the recipe from my grandmother. Cause last time I had Wendy's chili, I swear I think I had diarrhea for multiple days straight. Honestly, C tier is the best I can give it. Honestly, I don't know what you're on about, Donald, but I don't think the chili is worthy of A tier though. Definitely B tier at most, Barack. Alrighty, B tier it is, I guess. Moving on to the loaded fries, I'd say, while it definitely depends on whether or not you like shit on your fries, these are all definitely worthy of B tier at the least. Honestly, if Donald wasn't all over those cheese fries, I think it would be problematic, as that is the only real explanation of why his hair is orange. Says the guy who literally orders the bacon and cheese fries every time we go. Last time I ordered cheese fries was literally a month ago, Sleepy Joe. Though I wouldn't expect you to remember that. All right, settle down, homies. I think it's safe to say that the loaded fries are a solid B tier and we're moving on. Up next, we got Wendy's fries, and I gotta say, definitely S tier from me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that one, Barack. The reality is that while McDonald's fries are good, I think Wendy's just does it a little bit better. Agreed. Okay, S tier it is. Moving on to the chicken nuggets. 
Now, honestly, I think I can talk for everyone here when I say that both the spicy and non-spicy versions of these chicken nuggets are definitely some of the crispiest out of all the fast food joints out there. Solid A tier from me. Agreed. Agreed. All righty then, A tier it is. Moving on to the salads. I'm just going to be the guy that says it. Who's the jackasses ordering rabbit food at a fast food chain? Like, seriously, I don't get it. What was that Barack salad is the only thing I will eat off of that god-awful menu? Oh, and if it isn't Hillary Clinton, to be honest, I think you'll need more than a salad if you want to cover up all those emails you've been hiding. Shut your orange ass up, Donald. That's a bunch of shit, and you know it. Anyways, I thought I'd let you guys know that Bill wants to join us for Five Guys next Friday, so we might have to get everybody together and make a tier list before we go. Oh, you'll bet. I'm down. To be honest, I'm sure everybody will be looking forward to all the stories that Bill will be telling us about Epstein Island, so I'll be looking forward to it. All righty, sounds like a plan later, homies. Okay, we don't have too much more to go, so let's finish this before Sleeping Beauty falls asleep again. Next up, we got the Sriracha Chicken Sandwiches. To be honest, these things literally deserve the bottom of D tier. They were so bad. Honestly, I think Hunter probably snorted a few of these when he was high, because this shit was worse than rocket fuel. Honestly, if Donald's fat Oompa Loompa ass hadn't tried it, I think that would be a problem. All right, well, you guys knock it off. We are so close to the end. Anyways, off to the shadow realm for those sorry excuses for tacos. Moving on, we got Wendy's regular chicken sandwich, and right out of the gate, I think Oscar the Grouch's trash can has plenty of these at the bottom, and that's all I'm going to say. Literally right behind the tacos in D tier. Completely agree, Barack. Same. Alrighty, D tier it is. Now there are a lot of repeats, so now it's time for some fast forwarding cleanup. Here we go. One hour later. Alrighty, and with that, I think we should put the Dave single at a solid B tier. Personally, it's a half decent sandwich, but it reminds me of a Big Mac with the number of veggies on this shit, so that's why I can't rate it higher. Honestly, that is such a trash take, Donald. The Big Mac is literally just three slices of bread with smushed lettuce and two patties. How can a generic hamburger remind you of that? Well, whatever. I'm cool with it being B-tier. Anyways, when's the last time we heard from Joe Barack? Because I feel like it's been a while. Yeah, I think Sleeping Beauty deserves his beauty sleep, doesn't he, Donald? Completely agree. Anyways, I'll pick you up in five, Barack. Can't wait for Joe to wake up in the call and wondering where we are. Though it's not like he will remember when we tell it back to him either. Sounds good, homie. All right, see you in a few. Bet, see you in a sec. Five hours later. Yo, Donald? Barack, where is everybody? If those fuckers left me, I swear I will literally kick their asses. Anyways, before I get back to my daily nap, make sure to subscribe to Luigi50096 on your way out, and we will see you next time. <laughs>